Today, Motherwell took the trip to Gorgie, a venue they'd lost at twice last season. Commentary on this one comes from John Barnes. Hearts make four changes to their side as they look to return to winning ways. Rossi and Reres return to the defence, while Jum and Muirhead will look to support Johnson in attack. Mark McGee gives a vote of confidence to the same lineup that beat Partick Thistle last week, so that means youngsters David Ferguson and Jack McMillan retain their places. Hearts no wins in the last four games. On the front foot right from the start, here's Walker. Big Samson happy to gather that one at the second attempt. Walker looking very lively. Muirhead's corner. It's Patterson. And he wasn't far away with that effort. It's Callum Patterson, but he suffered in the process. He and Ben Hennigan, clash of heads there. Kitchen through towards June. Lovely pass. Has Johnson. And Hearts have the opener. And it comes after 31 minutes. And this American Bjorn Johnson. Neat pass from June. And Johnson calmly rounded Craig Sampson. It was good running by Johnson. And an excellent finish. His third goal of the season. Your head battering his free kick against the wall. Jim. Reres outside him. There's Johnson. Lovely glancing effort. But it won't count. The flag is up. Judge to be offside. Well, that's a tight decision there. The big striker might be a bit unfortunate. Here's Walker. Coming well. It's Arnold June. Just too high with the curling effort. But the midfielder and Walker have been linking well so far. Your head's corner. Your post is Johnson at the back is Rossi. And June blasting that one well over the top. Rossi denied by a super save though by Craig Sampson on the line. And June really should have done better. Kerry towards Walker. He's trying the shot, it's turned away by Clay. And Hearts have the corner. Walker in a good run of form at the moment. Muirhead's corner. Johnson! And that's a double for the half striker excellent delivery from Muirhead and the glancing effort couldn't be cleared off the line by Ainsworth Walker just ducking out the road Ainsworth with it there's the header from McDonald and away by Reras good clearance on the line there thwarting the Motherwell striker Hamill trying to switch direction. Here's Ainsworth cutting it back. It's Clay. And it's deflected wide there by the challenge of Smith for the corner kick. Ainsworth with it again. There's Hennigan. And it's Reris on the line again to deny the visitors. Good leap by Hennigan and a good clearance too by Reras. Hamill losing out to Walker. It's Arnold June. He's a player on the far side. It's Reras calling for it, but he uses Walker. Jimmy Walker! And Hearts are 3 0 in front. That just tops off an excellent afternoon for Walker. It's his third goal. In two matches, it's his seventh of the season, and a fine strike across the goalkeeper. Jim finding Muirhead. 
He's been having an almighty tussle with Richard Tate all afternoon. It's a good delivery again. And Craig Sampson did well there to stop that effort from corner Salmon. And Hart so close to a fourth. McManus. There's Molt down towards Ainsworth. Motherwell trying to pull one back. Terrific defending there by John Souter. Reading the situation well. Maybe not enough power in the law by Ainsworth, but terrific defending. Ainsworth. There's Molt with a header. And there's Reras with a clearance again. That's a hat trick of goal line clearances from the Moroccan <laughs> international. <laughs> I was really pleased, I thought we started the game well, we had good energy, passed it quickly, we moved it well and it was a pleasing performance all round. Uh, we get the first goal and then we, you know, we looked like we got a second goal, got chopped off which was disappointing but we managed to score and, and kill the game at the end which was pleasing. I think we are got to be better than that, you know, I think we've got to show a little bit more composure and possession whereas you know, the pressure they put us under, we weren't able to cope with it and we gave a ball away too easily. I still feel I can give more, um, I'm just trying to perfect my game, no one's perfect, I'm just trying to, you know, you know, help and lead the line, like you said, try to uh, be the first defender, um, you know, play together with Jume or Watt or whoever's going to play with us, I'm just trying to really get my feet down on, you know, setting myself and my place in the team, that's really what I'm focused on right now. Well, Stephen, Hart's been looking for a strike force and give them a regular source of goals. Have they found one in the form of the nine-foot-tall Bjorn Johnson and Arno Jume? He was certainly impressive yesterday, you know, Salmon and Watt have only got one goal each in 14 appearances, so that's not really good enough. And I think this guy certainly gives physical presence. But he, brought, he brought goals yesterday as well. And Jim played in the, in the number 10 role and set up two of the goals yesterday. His passing was excellent. This is a really good run, an intelligent run. His movement was good yesterday, Johnson. And for a big guy, six foot five, he shows real balance and skill to get around the goalkeeper. Um, I, and this one, I think he's going to be a bit aggrieved with. I think he's onside there, but the flag is up, I think, here when he just strays, but it's after the ball's been played. It's an absolutely outstanding header. Yeah. Um, and that would have given him his hat-trick yesterday had that been given. Um, but it was a big performance from a big player. Um, this one here, I cannot believe, Motherwell. You look at this guy, he's the biggest guy on the pitch, and you're giving him two yards of a run unmarked. Uh, you just can't do that, and I think Mark McGee will be very disappointed with that. Again, here's Jume in that number 10 role. Jamie Walker, who's been outstanding all season, gets played in again with an intelligent ball, and that's an excellent finish. <laughs> Hearts were deserved of their win yesterday. They were completely dominant in the match. You know, strikers like Stephen like to hog all the glory in matches, obviously, Pat, but sometimes <laughs> it's about <laughs> preventing the goals as well, and some yeah. spectacular goal prevention. Well, before that happened, Robbie Nielsen's got his, his team organised, and so from set pieces, you have to make sure they're all organised, know what they're doing, this is clever. Watch Liverpool doing this a lot. Look what happens, you've got one, two men in the post, but as soon as the ball's played and they know they're not in danger, watch them, they move back. You get Reras goes to the back post, Cowie goes to the near post, he's in the right position, look, his hands on the post, knows where he is, clears it with his left foot. That's important. On the right hand post, you need a left footer. This time it's his head, well done, clearance. But because you're a left footer on the post, on the post yeah. if you're a right footer there, you're not going to get your right foot up there. Yeah. You're not going to clear that. <laughs> really good thinking. And notice the detail. Watch what happens with Motherwell. They've not got the same in the post. And they lose it there because you get a right footer on that post. It's a tiny little detail, but it's important. Is that, is that a conscious thing then from, from Robbie Nielsen? Oh, well, 100%. You don't just by fluke do that three times that the players go back in that movement there. As I say, a lot of teams in his Premier League have been doing that last year or two. Very noticeable. It looks as if he's just got lucky three times. No, no, no. They know what they're doing. The lady in charge at Hearts, and Budge Stern Taskmaster, Stephen, she said she'd be disappointed <laughs> if Hearts don't at least match third place like they did last season. Obviously, right. Rangers back in the league, and Rangers, obviously, at Tyne Castle yes. on Wednesday night. Huge game. It's a massive game, yeah. isn't it? I mean, uh, Hearts needed that yesterday. Three straight draws they'd had, losing eight goals. So yesterday, a clean sheet and scoring three goals puts them into Wednesday night's game with massive confidence. It's a huge game. I think they would go second should they win it. Um, uh, and it's a game we're all very much looking forward to. Give us a to. prediction. That's your speciality. Oh, that is my speciality, right? Right. Uh, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Hearts win. OK. Pat? Draw, obviously. A draw, obviously. <laughs> OK, 